Hi, welcome to the Midnight Quilt Show. I'm your host, Chloe Walters, and today we're going to be making an awesome quilt. Chloe? Why aren't you in bed? It's only midnight, I'm not tired. Okay, I know, but I need you to get to bed. You said that you would help me make a quilt. It is really late and it's bedtime, so I need you to go. I've told Mom, you. Mom, don't you want to spend quality family time with me? Honey, you know I do, and I love spending time with my middle daughter, but it's bedtime and I've got, I've got a show to do, so. Is this show more important than me? Fine, I guess we're making an easy to piece charm quilt. Okay, so if we're gonna make a quilt for Haley, which is very nice, your little sister, that's that's so not common for you. Um, first, we're gonna need to get some fabric, and oh, I have some I perfect fabric. I found the fabric I wanted to use in your stash. Oh, you went through my stash? Yeah. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> even the box that says Angela's special stash? Yeah, why well, was there a lot of purple in there? I thought you hated purple. Okay. Listen, don't ever do that again. Okay, but it's fine, it's fine. The great thing about pre-cut squares is that I don't have to trust you the rotary cutter. I'm not quite ready for that, but we have to lay out the blocks first. So since we're making this for your little sister, I was thinking a cute little doll quilt. I kinda want the big one. I think she needs something that she can really cuddle with at night. That's gonna take a little bit longer. It's fine, we got time. Okay, so here's the deal though. Just want you to, if I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you do this, but I'm not gonna do all the work. Sure. Okay, so you're gonna yeah. piece most of it. You piece. got that? You understand? I understand. And if we're gonna do the big one, you're gonna piece most of it. Yeah. Okay. You're sure? Yeah. So the great thing about this pattern is that you can adjust the size, you can make it small or larger if you want. So we're gonna, we're gonna do the big one, huh? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna start laying out the blocks, and the great thing is there's no wrong way to do it. Here, baby, look. You could put this print right here, and you could do this one. So just kind of lay it out how you think Haley would like it. What color do you think should be next? I think you know her better. Yeah, yeah, she does. I mean, she like, she'd probably like this one. You wanna put that one next? Yeah? Okay. So we're just gonna keep laying out. And you don't even have to worry about how the colors go together. Yeah, that's great, great job. I'm so glad we're doing this together, right? Spending time, really getting you involved in the quilting, right? This is fun, this is great. Okay. Now that I've showed you how to do this, let's go ahead and, okay, all right. You don't think she likes that color? Mm -mm. Okay, all right, so once you have your first row, then we can do a second row. Um, okay, well, that's beautiful, love it, but we gotta kinda work on the next row, so you wanna put the next row down here, just right below it. Sure. Good job. Hey baby, hey, come on, quilt, quilt. Okay, so now that I've finished correcting all your mistakes, what should we do now? You like how that is? Yes. Mm. Okay, well you know what comes next, you watch the show. After you lay it out, you... <sighs> you watch the show, right? The Midnight Quilt Show? Yeah, yeah, all the time. Okay, well, now it's time to sew them together. We have, look, we have everything we need to get started. We have the ironing board, the fabric laid out, the sewing machine, all ready to go. So. Push the pedal, stop. Don't push the pedal until you're ready to sew. Okay, so we're gonna pick them up in groups of two. <laughs> I feel like the machine is talking to me. Okay, we're gonna pick them up in groups of two and we're gonna sew it using a quarter inch seam allowance. You'll just kinda line it right there and push it through. So, you wanna grab the first two blocks? I think you should show me a couple first, like, so I can get a sense of what I'm doing. Okay, all right. I mean, you've done it before. You're really good at it. Yeah, but I haven't done it at midnight. That is true, it's kinda late. Okay, so you wanna come over here closely so you can see what I'm doing? Okay, so I'm gonna take my two pieces, I'm gonna put them right sides together, isn't that perfect? Then when you come over here, okay, so when you put your foot pedal down, then you're going to press on here, or you're gonna put your presser foot down, and then you're gonna sew. So you're gonna kinda line it up on that quarter inch, and you're just gonna move nicely along. Isn't that great? And I don't want you going too fast, because, uh -huh. Hey, are you paying attention? I, I am. Good. Of course. Of course. Good. So after you're done sewing, this is the best part. I love when I get to push the little scissor button. Just love that sound. Isn't that cool? It's really cool, Mom. Good. I'm glad you think so. Okay, so then I'm going to press it to one side. So my little iron right here. 
All right, look, and if I always press them to the left, then the next row I'll press always to the right, so it's perfect. All right, easy enough, right? I feel like you could totally get this, honey. It's not, it's not difficult. That's what's great about charm quilts. They're basic patterns, easy to put together, but the color placement is so fun, especially when you're a professional like Chloe with your perfect color placement. It's just great. Okay, also a couple more. Isn't it neat how that foot pulls it through? Oh, yep, that is a scissor button right there, perfect. And then I like to have it all laid out here so I can see, make sure it stays in the right place. So to sew your two groups together, you're gonna put them right sides together and pull them in just like that. You know what right sides together means, right? Yeah. Any other questions? I mean, I know you have benefited from having a quilting master as your mother. It's been great, hasn't it? Um, so there probably isn't a lot you don't know about it, but are there anything that I can answer for you? Can I do the next one? Sure. Yes, that makes me so happy. I'm already thinking you can be sewing and I can be laying out the fabric for my next project. It's gonna be great. It's like we're quilting at the same exact time. It's gonna be great. Okay. Have a seat. You're gonna do great and I promise I'm not gonna hover. Perfect. You know, it's what's great about doing the Midnight Quilt Show is I've gotten so good at teaching. I feel like the things I say would be so difficult. Like you couldn't possibly like teach the way I do, right? Maybe you should say the last one. Are you sure? Well, you still have to stay here because ironing is next, okay? Okay, are you ready to iron this? To iron? Mm -hmm. All right. Let me make sure it's hot. Oh gosh. Good job. So yep, we're pressing all the seams to one side. That way later on when we add the next row, they'll nest together. Perfect points. Okay, that's nice and done and beautiful. Now our first row is finished, we're ready for the next one. Oh my gosh, Chloe, this is looking great. The first row is fantastic. You already have the second row done. Oh, it's so good. Chloe, what are you doing? Texting. Who is awake at this hour? Who wants to sleep at this hour? Well, I hope everybody, but come on, help me put this out. Is this looking nice? Yeah, it looks really good. I think Haley is gonna love it. Oh, in the third row, you did a good job piecing that one. Oh, so we're just gonna line them up. I really love how you did the dark and then the pink and then the orange with the prints on the side. I should have gone your way and flipped these two. Yeah, it looks fantastic, honey. Okay, so now we're gonna sew the rows together. And since we press the seams to different sides, when we fold them together, they're gonna nest. And so when I put them together, they should snug right into each other. And when I sew them, I'll have a beautiful, perfect point. But it doesn't matter if it's not perfect, right? You know what mommy always says, close enough is good enough. You know what I'm- It's just better than perfect. Yeah, like when I'm cooking dinner. <laughs> you know, finish is better than perfect. <laughs> Except dinner tastes curse. Okay, now, watch it. I'm right. kidding. We're gonna use these clips to hold it in place. <laughs> All right, we're gonna use these clips to hold it in place. You wanna clip that side? You just clip each seam. I should get my ears pierced, Mom. Yeah, or you can just wear the clip-ons. I <laughs> get it, clip-ons. And what'll be fun is you'll just basically clip each row, you'll sew it together, and then soon the whole quilt will be done. Oh, Chloe. She's gonna love it. She's gonna love it. Okay, hey, well. She's gonna love it. She's gonna love it. Okay, what's next? We need to sew these two rows together. Perfect, let's do it. All right, that looks awesome. I'm loving the color placement, how you have like the low volume, the bright colors. See, I knew we needed to use all, all these oranges. I wasn't feeling it, but it looks great. Okay, what's next? Sew all the rest. Let's do it. Oh, Chloe, it looks beautiful. I love the way it turned out. Oh my gosh, the color placement. I mean, it took forever for you to decide how to place all the colors, but I love it. What do you think Haley's gonna like the most about it? The fact that I made it for her. Oh, she's gonna look at it and say, my great big sister made this for me. I think she'll like how the colors go from red, orange, yellow, green, and light. Nice, kinda like a rainbow. Yeah. Very beautiful. But well, you know what time it is? The best part? The machine quilting. Yeah, Yay. I'll do that part, Mom. No, 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 I'll, I'll do, oh, it. I can do it. I can do it. Okay, well, we gotta make a quilt sandwich first, so let's do it. All right, we've got the quilt sandwich basted. Did you like that part of the process? No. It's not quite as fun as the quilting, huh? 
but that's okay. So we're gonna use some walking foot quilting because I think it would be easier, especially as it gets later on at night. So she's got her sandwich basted, her walking foot on. We're using a gray thread, I think that'd be nice. And then some gloves. So I've got your gloves and then my gloves. So here's some gloves for you. I want these ones. Oh, I just kind of just got those. They're so cute. I know, right? Okay, well, she's gonna use the gloves to help grip it. So now we're all ready to go. So you're gonna go ahead and quilt from one side to the other on this beautiful fabric. Watch your fingers and then let it go. All right, so when you get to that corner, then go ahead and pause. You have your most control when your hands on either side of your foot. <laughs> okay, I should probably start. There you go. There you go. Well, now that you've used all my Lily and Loom fabric, it's a great thing that there's a coupon code for 50% off Boundless and Lily and Loom. You can find that in the description box below. So good. All right, so you've got your first line and normally you would go down the whole thing. What am I talking about? You already know what we're doing, don't you? So let's go ahead and do in the other direction to make the X's. Yes, I knew that. <laughs> Perfect. Look at that. I think it's gonna keep it nice and soft so it's not too stiff. Yeah. You think she's gonna like that? I think she'll love it. I think she'll love it. You are gonna still give it to her, right? Yeah. You can't keep it after it's all done. Only people that make quilts for gifts and keep them are, you know. You. It's not very nice. Well, yeah, they're sad. All right, so let's keep going. We'll just reposition and you go from spot to spot until the whole thing is finished. Oh, good job. Oh, okay. Having fun? Yeah. We're good? Awesome. Ooh, Chloe. Man, you're making some good progress. You're almost done. Oh, I love it. What are you doing? I quilted the X patterns in each block so it would be nice and cuddly instead of putting too much detail in it for Haley. Oh, I love that. That's so perfect. Well, you got a lot of quilting. It looks like you're doing a great job. So I'll just be over here while you get it finished up, okay? All right, keep it up. The quilt is finished. I had so much fun arranging the fabric and playing with the different colors. I think Haley's gonna love the beautiful blues. The machine quilting was so much fun using the walking foot to create straight lines. This is gonna be such a soft, cuddly quilt that's going to look great in my, oh, I mean Haley's bed. While this isn't how I planned the night on starting, it was a lot of fun spending time with Chloe and making such a beautiful quilt. Don't forget about the coupon code where you can get 50% off Boundless and Lily and Loom fabrics. Mom, I finished the bite.